Hello everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. So today we will start our MMPC 9 course with the very first topic that is production operations management and here we will try to give a general idea or a, you know a much more in-depth uh, introduction you can say of what production is, uh, what operations is like that. So by the end of this video, I hope that you will be in a better position to answer questions like define what is production operations management, what is the objectives of operations management or what is the role of operations manager like that. So these three questions, what you're seeing right now on your screen, they're all past term and examination questions. Now, through this video, uh, we won't be going in depth into like what all things you can write for 20 marks, like how can you fill four pages for 20 marks or even five marks or 15 marks. We won't be going like that, but rather I will tell you uh, the core concepts that you will definitely have to include for any of these three questions. Okay, because otherwise, you know, the way we answer each of these questions will be a little bit different for different people. So rather than giving and that will also make our video also very lengthy. So rather than going into those things, I'll give you the crux of it so that you have the content or you can say you have all the key points that you de definitely need to mention and then you can build on it and give uh, explanations or give examples give an introduction, give a conclusion, things like that and uh, expand the answer for 20 marks or 15 marks or whatever. Like that we will go. Okay. So I think that will be more productive in this case. Especially since we have a lot of topics to cover. This is not a very, uh, what you can say, small subject either. So what is production? When we hear the word production, the first picture that comes into our mind would be of a factory. Uh, some big factory or a workshop kind of a setup where uh, there are a lot of machines and products are moving in some form of a conveyor belt and people are standing in line throughout the production line doing various things inspecting maybe you know uh, labeling or uh, picking up it uh, picking it up and packaging and things like that right so uh, mostly when we talk about production we are talking about products or goods physical things correct so that is what production what we are saying so in the conventional sense in the traditional sense yes production used to be of goods but now society has come a long way forward and right now even services get produced so um, uh, we have to what you can say generalize this pro process of production into some uh, what you can say a process through which either goods or services can be created only then we can include both manufacturing firms as well as service firms india being a, a what you can say a service uh, oriented industry especially right we uh, yes we produce but we are majorly a service based uh, what you can say uh, organizations we have a lot more than production based so production we can summarize production in order to include both products uh, that is goods and services we can summarize it and say that it is the process by which an organization turns its resources that is the raw materials or whatever it has all the input resources it could be even our labor into some value added output okay so you have an input some raw materials you are putting it or subjecting it through a process and you are turning it into a value added output so these output could either be goods or services and the sale of this output okay is what brings revenue to our organization and thus from revenue is what we get profit so that is production so now what is operations management definitely when we produce uh, we said right it goes through certain processes so what are these processes each of this process is one type of an operation and our success as an organization, as a business, lies in streamlining these operations to the best possible manner, right? So, definitely it means we need to manage the operations. So, all the design, the operation and improvement of our production systems, which create the firm's primary products and services, that is the firm's output, which we will sell, correct? That is operations management. So, as that is operations management, definitely what would be the objectives of such an operation management? Broadly speaking, we can classify the objectives of operations management into two. One is performance objective, the other is cost objective. 
when we talk about performance objective we are talking about how we can improve the efficiency of our process how we can improve the effectiveness of our process how can we assure that our products or outputs whether it be goods or services are having quality assurance that they they will definitely have a certain level of quality how we can assure that how we can reduce lead time how we can maximum utilize our capacity how flexible is our production process so that we can what you can say take the shock of environmental fluctuations all these things come under the performance objective of our operations management coming to the cost objective we have mainly two cost objectives one is to reduce the explicit cost that is the visible cost which is the direct cost like the cost of raw materials the cost of skilled labor that we are having to employ such things the cost of packaging that particular thing all those things come under the explicit or the visible cost similarly we also have hidden costs or implicit costs like uh, what you can say the general things the stationery the electricity uh, the fans we have to buy uh, things like that okay so that includes our opportunity cost inventory handling cost the downtime cost inspection cost all those things so from the cost objective we have cost perspective we have the reduction in both explicit and implicit cost so these are the objectives of operations management now there is a very important term that we have to know when we talk about production and operations management it is productivity what is productivity the it is the efficiency of a firm's conversion process what is this conversion process it is that process which is turning our inputs into value added outputs that is the conversion process so how efficient our conversion process is is what productivity indicates so if our conversion process is very uh, efficient then it our productivity will be very high if it is not as efficient then definitely our productivity will be less so uh, the resources the inputs turning so we will need more inputs to produce very few outputs if it is not as productive right so we can express this productivity as an equation in the form of productivity equal to outputs by input so how much input is required to produce as given amount of output is what productivity talks about okay so this is a very important term that we have to know about so uh, these are the major things that you will need to know for sure and we'll have to include if a question comes like uh, if the question is uh, like uh, what define production operation management definitely you need to know or you need to include what you mean by production what do you mean by operations management and definitely also you can include a point about productivity similarly if the question is about objectives of operations management you can start by saying what you understand by operations management and then talk about the two different objects objectives and each of those objectives you can expand and give some examples so that uh, the answer becomes big and uh, invigilator whoever is correcting gets the idea that okay this person whoever is writing the answer do know their stuff right so like that you can so as uh, what you can say as a grooming session i would definitely uh, ask you to pick up any or if possible all three questions and um, you know try to form an answer uh, where if this question gets asked for 5 marks what all things will you include if this gets asked for 10 marks or 15 marks or even 20 marks then how would you formulate your answer just in the background of your head try to formulate so that if a question comes if these questions repeat in the upcoming term and examination you are ready to face such a question okay so these we will be going in such a format wherein every video every session we will pick up a few previous term and examination questions and we will talk about the key points that definitely we will have to include okay so like that we will um, try to complete our mmpc 9 i hope uh, this will be useful for you all and i hope that this session was uh, what you can say beneficial for you while you are preparing for your term and examination i will see you all in the next session until then thank you so much take care bye bye